Hey everybody, Mike here with another Roll20 short. Today we're going to talk about quickly adding monsters, really any token, to the turn order. It's frustrating for me as a GM to have to find initiative on all the different NPCs and monster sheets. Click those sheets and it just it's clunky. So I found this macro online. I'll put a copy of it down below in the blah, blah, blah. I'll also try to link to the original source so that you can see what he or she had to say online about it. But it's really simple. First, we'll create the macro. So to create a macro, all you do is you go into this collections thing. You click add. Trust me. Then you... This is where you would write your macro. We're just going to paste it in there because I know this works. I have thug1 selected. If I hit test macro, you can actually see it got added to turn order there. You can see it happen down here as the GM thug. If I click on wolf and hit test macro, the wolf will be added. Let's just clean that up really quickly. Remove all tokens, clear, great. So that's all you have to do to create a macro. I've already got one created here. We'll just scroll down to it. It's called trust init right here. I have it set up to be a token action. That's very important. One of the things that it allows is actually players when they select their token can also use it. It appears up here as a token action. I also have it showing up in the bar, so it's always down here if I want to see it. Oh, we're at the start of combat. We want to add somebody. We do click. You trust in it. Click, trust in it. And I'm going to add both thugs. Obviously, you can just add one of the thugs. And we'll assume that the players also added theirs. I am on the free version. So I have to go on the blue wheel and hit descending to put everybody in order. One of the things that you see is when you hover over it, you can see who's going to go in what order. So the players can't actually, I have it set up so the players can't see that this is wolf or scout or thug one or thug two. So if the other Bob wanted to know the order, the other Bob's player could just hover and see which of the tokens gets highlighted. So the wolf acts. You go to Bob. Bob wants to know who's going to be next. Bob hovers over the second line and sees that this token right here was the highlighted one. That's it. You have something selected. You click on Trust in it. That's really all you have to do. If I was using the paid version, I could have an API that allowed me to select multiple tokens. I can't think of any way to do it on the free version. If anybody knows how, put it down in the comments. And the blah 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 below that would be awesome hope you liked this video it's really short all you have to do is go here at the top add i like cookies i like cookies test the macro probably aren't gonna want to put in i like cookies right there but hey maybe you do we'll do it as a scout Test the macro. Hey, look, Scout said, I like cookies. Hopefully you liked this and found it useful. Let me know if you did. Like the video, share it, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Have a great day, everybody.